Wednesday, it's Holly from Twinkle and today we're going to be looking at how St Patrick's Day is celebrated and we're going to be making a very traditional, or not so traditional, craft. St Patrick's Day or the Feast of St Patrick is a cultural and religious celebration held on the 17th of March every year all around the world. 17th of March is the death date of St. Patrick, who is the patron saint of Ireland. Our lesson objective today is to understand how St. Patrick's Day is celebrated and to design and create a leprechaun trap. Just like this. So how is St. Patrick's Day celebrated? St. Patrick's Day is now celebrated around the world, but it has the greatest importance and significance within Ireland itself. In Ireland, St. Patrick's Day is more of a religious holiday, much like Christmas and Easter. Many Irish people start the day by going to Mass to offer prayers for St. Patrick and for missionaries all around the world. Then many people go to their local village or town to see the annual St. Patrick's Day parade. This is where the celebrations begin. Green. Green is a very important colour. People choose to dress in green. Green represents the colour of the shamrock used to teach about the Holy Trinity. In 1962, Chicago town officials even dyed their Chicago River green. Ireland is often known as the Emerald Isle because of the green landscape. Famous landmarks are often lit up in green. And in 2008, the water fountain in Trafalgar Square in London turned green in honour of the saint. Leprechauns. The leprechaun is a type of fairy usually taking the form of an old man who enjoys mischief. Leprechauns are part of Irish mythology. In stories, they make shoes and store away pots of gold hidden at the end of rainbows. They're Irish and people find them interesting, so they therefore symbolise St Patrick's Day worldwide. Like other fairies, they're small in size and known for being very mischievous. In mythology, wherever there are leprechauns, there are also stories of people trying to steal their gold. There's a tradition that if you're lucky enough to catch a leprechaun, you can never take your eyes off of him or he'll disappear. Some people even dress up as leprechauns for fun. The stories say that leprechauns store their pots of gold at the end of the rainbow. If you can catch a leprechaun, he may even lead you to his gold. So your task today is to make a leprechaun trap. You might compare it to leaving cookies out for Santa on Christmas Eve or trying to catch your tooth fairy or the Christmas elf. Even if you don't catch a leprechaun, you might be left signs that the leprechaun was there and has visited. He might even just leave you golden chocolate coins or treasure. Your task today is to design and create a leprechaun trap to try and attract and catch a leprechaun. Think about what you're going to use and be clever because they are very sneaky. Here are some tips on what to include. Leprechauns are like magpies. Capture their attention with something that sparkles and shines. Oil and glitter will attract them to your trap. Leprechauns love gold because it reminds them of their pots of gold. If you can include some gold in your trap, you might have some luck catching one. I've even printed out some coins from Twinkle, but you could use golden chocolate coins. Leprechauns love green. As we know, it's the best way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I had a hunt around my whole house looking for anything green I could find. Rainbows will attract leprechauns in search of a pot of gold. Put one in your trap and you might get a visit. You could print them from the Twinkle website or use paper to make your own. You really need to think about your trap. Plan it carefully and think about the best way to attract a visit from a leprechaun. What materials can you use? What shape will it be? What colours? What features? Will it be a simple trap or will it be so elaborate that you'll need to get your family involved? Pause now to go and find all the things you need to make your trap. Think about things you've seen in movies, have you ever tried to trap a fairy, gingerbread man or even a Christmas elf? Or wait until you've watched the whole lesson video and see if you feel inspired for how to make your trap. I'm going to show you how to make two simple leprechaun traps step by step using things you might have in your house. Paws logo will appear on the screen after each stage if you're going to make your trap along with me. Or you can ignore this if you want to watch the whole lesson first. The first trap I'm going to make simply uses a kitchen roll tube. My aim is to lure in the leprechaun and then block off the end so he's stuck in the tube. So first I'm going to paint the tube green. While waiting for that to dry, I'm going to get together all the pieces I need for decoration, but also to actually set the trap. So I need to block off one end of the tube, making sure this circle is a little bit bigger. To make sure it's really secure, I'm going to put a lolly stick at the end
and of course stick down all my decorations to attract him. I've even added some signs saying free gold. Now using another circle big enough to cover the end, I'm going to set a trap. So I need to glue the circle on and use a stick to prop it up so that then I can pull the stick away and he's trapped in the tube. Let's see if this works. Pow! Gotcha! Yes, this is great. My second trap is going to be a little bit more complicated and a little bit more crafty. I've got an old shoe box lid. Again, paint that green, we know they love green. While I wait for that to dry, I'm gonna get all my other bits ready. This time I'm going to make a rainbow. And the rainbow is going to be like the road that the leprechaun needs to walk down. So I'm going to stick some gold coins on the end and lots of glitter and sequins. Again, lots of free gold signs. And now I need to set the trap. So the plan is the stick holds up the shoebox lid. The end of the stick is a piece of string which I will pull away, just like in the tube one. But this time the leprechaun will be stuck under the lid. Okay, so my stick is holding up my lid. I've got the end of the string. If the leprechaun was to walk to the end of the rainbow to get the gold, kapow, oh yeah. If you're feeling really adventurous and creative, then why not think outside the box and think of how to make a trap door? You can make a trap like this. Simple piece of paper where the leprechaun would fall into the box. Or maybe you can use a jar or something even more creative than that. Here are some pictures of the different leprechaun traps I made in the lesson. Pause now to get some inspiration for your trap or choose which one you're going to make. Go back to this timestamp in the video to see all the things that you will need to make your trap. Go to this time to follow along with me to make the trap using a kitchen roll or card tube. Or this time in the video to make the shoebox lid trap. I hope you have fun making your leprechaun trap and maybe you'll be lucky enough to catch one. Some people say leprechauns grant wishes too. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out our many other amazing Twinkle Lesson videos.